YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2. All right, folks, tis Zer's day. Zer is located over on Titan, and you want to fly into the rig and follow the path that I'm going to take. If you are new to Destiny 2, Zer comes to the solar system every Friday at reset, and he will leave on uh, Tuesday at reset. He brings with him one exotic weapon, a few pieces of exotic armor, and also, starting today, he will bring some Zer bounties, or Invitations of the Nine. So, let's go in and check out and see what he's got. This week, he's got the Crimson Hand Cannon, he's got the Orpheus Rig for the uh, Hunter, the Worm God Caress for the Titan, and the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock. So, only one exotic exotic that is year two and that is the chromatic fire all right the faded engram for 97 legendary shards this will only give you a year one exotic nothing from year two nothing from forsaken so buy that if you need a year one exotic crimson really fun hand cannon for pve and pvp and when you get it masterworked this thing has insane range in it so the main perk is called banned weapon uh, it fires a three round burst and then you have cruel remedy kills with this weapon will heal you and then precision kills will refill the magazine grab this thing if you're new to destiny 2 or do not have it it's an awesome hand cannon Orpheus Rig, all I use in Gambit and Gambit Prime for the Hunter, for the Night Stalker. Uh, provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by Deadfall Anchors. Mobius Quiver has more shots. So grab this thing, love it. Let's take a look at the rolls. We have Mobility, we have Resilience, Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, and we have Outreach, reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. We do have Special Ammo Finder. I like that on any piece because if I'm running a shotgun, I want to get Special Ammo often. We have Scout Rifle Scavenger. Moving on to the Worm God Caress. This one is for the Titan, and it looks like it's for the Sunbreaker. I don't play my Titan very much. Melee kills increase melee damage for a period of time. Additional kills extend duration and increase its effects. All right, so actually, it's not for the Sunbreaker. It's for everybody. All right, we have the, uh, let's see, we've got Resilience, we've got Recovery, Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Reloader, and Impact Induction. Causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. So um, get some melee attacks. Well, causing, just causing damage, not kills with your melee, and you will get some grenade uh, energy. All right, we have Sniper Rifle Scavenger and Machine Gun Scavenger. If you like to run Machine Guns Thunderlord, you will get some bonus reserves. All right, Chromatic Fire. I can't... Uh, Cannot wait to play with this thing because I still don't have it. All right, the main perk is precision kills uh, with your kinetic weapon. Create an explosion in the element of your equipped subclass. That's awesome. Man, I can't wait to play with that thing. We have mobility, recovery, unflinching bow aim, unflinching fusion rifle aim, and unflinching kinetic aim. We've got scout rifle reserved and special ammo finder. All right, definitely grabbing you. All right, consumables. You've got your five of swords card where you can customize your nightfall experience with the handicap, and uh, you can throw on some advantages and disadvantages. And guys, um... Uh, this thing is not bugged. They did increase it to that. I think you have to bump it up to a 100 power handicap to see any difference. But for me, the, my setup for this, if you're new to Destiny 2 or just in general, I want to get a 100k score. Mine is set up with, uh, what do I have? I've got a 35 multiplier. Well, actually, no. I have this completely not set up. All right. I'm going to back out of there because I forget how I set it up. But I'll post it in the pinned comment how I set mine up. This is new here. We have a bounty uh, for nine legendary shards. Now we need, uh, let's see, a strike. We need to complete the Lake of Shadows strike. And then we need to collect uh, Cabal samples, Fallen samples, and Taken samples. And it's nine legendary shards. So collect metaphysical samples from defeated combatants in the European dead zone. So it looks like we got to collect all those things from uh, Cabal, Fallen, and Taken within uh, within the European dead zone. So we're going to grab you, and I will get that completed and upload a video to see what happens right after. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Leave me a hashtag, made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually, you know, it's on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir, and I am getting shot at. Oh, hold on. We got a, uh, oh, I forgot. I had this super on. Where'd you go? Come here. I forgot. Normally, I always run tether with my Orpheus rig, but I'm trying to, wait, am I wearing my Gwinston vest? No, I'm not. All right, Babble Mode's engaged. I'll see you guys. <laughs>